$2,000 steel roll cage versus $4,000 top of the line chromoly roll cage. Does more expensive mean more better? Let's find out. We're back, baby. Ah! Go. A huge thanks to our friends at Keeps for sponsoring today's episode of High Low. Today, we come to you D-Holes with some important heart-wrenching news. Two out of three of you guys will experience some sort of male pattern baldness. By the time you're 35, I'm looking at you, Derek, in Iowa. And you, Ted, in North Carolina. You will lose your hair. But not Pagani Gaming, because he listened to us and used keeps, I assume. I don't know. Is it too late for Pagani Gaming? Keeps changed the process of getting hair loss medication. Before Keeps, we all had to spend awkward mornings at the doctor's office hiding behind magazines in shame of the failing follicles on top of your head. The embarrassment. The shame. And the pain. But now, thanks to Keeps, it's easy to hold onto that hair by offering online doctor visits for hair loss medication that is then delivered to your door every three months. But it's important you act sooner rather than later as Keeps treatments typically take between four to six months to see results. The results, the results speak for themselves. So avoid the awkward doctor visits and horrible comb overs. Visit keeps.com slash high low and get 50% off your first, your first order. order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash high low. Support the companies that support Donut so we're able to do another season of high low. We bought two identical Nissan 350Zs and we've been modifying them to be fun daily drivers that you can take to the track. One Z gets expensive parts and one of them gets cheap parts because mm -hmm. that's all that they deserve. We've thrown a bunch of parts on these things. I'm talking coilovers, brakes, wheels and tires, seats, and <laughs> turbo kits, dude. And now these cars are so fast that we have to install roll cages because we're scared. I'm getting a professionally installed $4,000 four point bolt in custom painted and color matched chromoly roll cage. And I'm getting a $2,000 four point bolt in steel roll cage that I will have to install myself. We know that $2,000 isn't cheap. I don't have $2,000. But we tried to do it for cheap and we all know how that went. We just spent six hours trying to fit our roll cages in. <laughs> and we're thrown in the towel. Lesson learned. We cheaped out and we bought identical $200 half cages off of the internet. And then we found out what you get with a $200 half cage off the internet. Well, this time around, we decided that the best option would be cages that were made specifically for our cars. But there are a lot of different options when it comes to cages. How do you know which cage you need? Does it matter if you have a bolt-in cage versus welded in? And what does four point even mean? What about six point? I don't know. There's a lot of misinformation and keyboard warriors out there when it comes to roll cages. So let's just jump right in. Oh. This place is sick. Funny Dude. seeing you boys here. Here we are at Studio RSR. These guys build a ton of cages. These guys are nice enough to bring out two cars, one with a four point roll cage, one with a six point roll cage. So this is your basic four point roll cage. It's got a main hoop here that follows the B pillar of the car and has two points that mount into the floor. Then you've got two more uh, bars going back towards the rear of the car, which complete the triangle shape. It's very strong. Although this is a basic four point, it's good enough for most NASA and SCCA events, which are the most popular events that we'd be partaking in in America. A six point roll cage adds two more points of contact between the cage and the chassis with bars running along the roof and down the A pillar like it's so. A lot of times they'll have door bars connecting this front bar to the main hoop, which look really cool, but are kind of a pain in the ass getting in and out of. You really shouldn't necessarily run a six point cage unless you're willing to wear a helmet uh, when you go to the grocery store. Some people say that if you have a bucket seat with harnesses and you're using everything correctly that you'll be okay. But the fact is the roll cage is going to be closer to your head than the stock structure would have been and it might obstruct your side curtain airbags. For that reason, 
I don't think we're going to the six point. Now, better safe than sorry when it comes to my melon. Maybe that's just the, that might just be that. This is the cage for low car. Uh, you can tell because it's still uncoated and out of the car because we got to install it in low car. But this thing looks pretty sick. Let's go look at high car. Ooh. Dude. All right. A little jealous, a little bit. That matches the wheels so well. So this is high car's bit, cage. Just a little bit. And it looks sick. I bet I'll be able to feel the difference. You'll probably pick up a wheel. Yeah, it probably should stiffen things up a little bit, you'd think, you know? Oh, uh, well, let's, let's get it in the van, take it back to the shop, and stick it in. Cool. So today we are installing, finally, our roll cage. Unlike high car, we are installing our cage ourselves, which means we have to take the seats out, take the plastic trim out, maybe cut up some carpet to make it fit right. All we're gonna need to do this job are a few hand tools and some gumption. Now roll that music. So the first thing we're gonna do on high car is install our harnesses. So for both cars, we went with these sexy Takata four point harnesses. Four points means that it attaches to the chassis at four different points, one, two, three, four. So pretty much this, but in there. We're taking out the seats so we can put the roll cage in pretty easily. Just getting ready to drill some holes. Gonna mock up the, the base of the cage, draw out the holes to where we need to drill them, and then get going. Best part is you come up on change and tools and a Band-Aid. Our main concerns right now is that we won't be able to keep our seating position that we had set up because we really liked where we had it. Should we stand it up? Yeah. Oh, sh We're in. Dude. Bam. Okay. Pull your side forward. Well, this is a holding it back here. Oh, it's caught on the plastic. So right now I just replaced the first bolt from the stock seat belt with a Takata eyelet. James removed the top bolt for the seat belt. And then I just now need to remove the bolt from the stock buckle and then replace that bolt with another one of these eyelets. What the f are those for? Okay, so we do have a small problem. So we're having a small, small fitment issue. <coughs> Front fits, <coughs> but the rear does not fit. So there's like an almost a full inch gap that it needs to go back further, which is kind of an issue. I'll hit the top of it okay. to try to give it like supreme leverage. That's moving a little bit, but I mean, there's still a big gap. Well, good thing is we're only five minutes in. Yeah. You wrap the uh, seat belt around the cage and then back through this D-ring uh, a couple different times and it locks, it doesn't come off. This is my first time wrapping some uh, harnesses on a cage, but it's pretty easy. They give you a little diagram, can't screw it up. You know, low team is just in a perpetual state of traveling in between screwed and not screwed, so. This is normal. I really wish they just gave us like a sheet of instructions. Over, around, back up, over. We don't know if the other holes on the front part right. on those feet are lining up. So what we should do, we jack up the rear of the car, bolt up these back ones, and then- Try to get the front. We make the front work. Yeah. We should peel away more of the carpet and see where the holes are, because we just might be making a dumb mistake, which knowing our history, we have done. He's got a point. That's so much work. Check out this freaking belt, dude. Ready for this? There. That's it. On one side, the hand uh, out. Let's the do that side. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Take this. This way? Yeah. Uh, down. down, 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 down. There. Oh! Here, it's take it out. Fit. Take it out. Redo it. We get the shot. No, we no, got no. It. <laughs> you, Aaron. So it's a little too tight to get the eyelet on down there to bolt in the harness. So we are gonna have to take out this seat, but compared with what's going on with the other guys. Remember, Nolan, that's gotta come out again, so don't all the way tight it. You're joking, right? Well, we gotta mock it up and we gotta drill the holes. What holes? These ones down here? <clears throat> to, to open this uh, up. Yeah, so, so we have to take this whole thing out? Not technically, just don't worry, just breathe. Breathe. All right, breathe. All right. All right. I'm All not right. doing it anymore. Let's, I, let's try thing. to get the back mounted up okay. first, and then we can deal with the front. Okay, I think it fits. 
You know how like you guys just buy what you guys want for that car? Mm -hmm. So do you guys think that you really need tools? Because you keep taking our tools and we, we actually need them to build our car. I'm gonna take your tools. You're manufacturing drama here. All right, what is this, Velocity Channel? <laughs> Over here on Team High, our roll cage was already professionally installed, so we don't have to do that. So what are we gonna do? Well, this is a race car, and what do race cars have? $1,500 carbon fiber door panels. Ridiculous. <laughs> Did you drop it on the jacks? Sure. Ow! You all right? Ugh, what yeah. <sighs> do I have a nice shiner? Got hit right there, the jack. Anything? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Nolan and Aaron are having a pretty tough time of it right now, so we thought that we'd cheer them up and show them the steezy new door cards that we ordered for them. I think they're gonna love them. Have not seen these yet, so I hope there's not a <laughs> on them or anything. <laughs> no so this way, dude. <laughs> <laughs> This one has the whole crew oh on it. Oh my god, I love it. That's from Albuquerque. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, I love it. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you guys. I, 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 I love it. I love it. We'll get these in. We'll get our lovely custom door <laughs> cards in. But first, we got to get the cage in. So I'm just marking the base plate for our bolt-in cage. It's a little bit tweaked. So we're going to drill the flange on the car. I, I can see holes enough. I can see holes, man. Hell yeah. Dude, nice job. Ooh, hashtag low. Just like that, low car. It's official. Get yours at donutmedia.com right now. So we decided to be cheeky and cute and get ourselves a side project because we didn't have enough to do today uh, just installing our harnesses. So we decided to pick up those uh, Sabon carbon door panels and it has just been the bane of my existence. It's been about six hours now. I've been trying to fit them and trim them. So that switch feels nasty now. All right, so we have all the fasteners in here to finger tight. Now what we're gonna do is tighten up the uh, rears to the chassis, come back up here, tighten them down here, and throw the seats in and pray to God they fit. Roll cage is in. <sighs> now that the roll cage is in, we can finally trim the rear piece for this uh, rear struts to trim the plastic around the roll cage. We can test fit the seats. They're gonna fit. Let's do it. Well, the seat fits just in a much further forward position than we're used to. A little tight. Uh, we're gonna try to close the door. Make sure that uh, it uh, closes. Make sure it doesn't hit the door jam or our big old seats, um, or make any weird, funny, crunchy noises. Well, there's definitely a weird, funny, crunchy noise. That fits, but you have to really slam it. Perfect fitment. I think this is the first real big L for uh, for high car. Obviously, we had the cage the first time around that didn't go so good, but these just don't fit very well. I mean, they're they're good enough to stay on the car, but I am not pleased. Okay, yeah, it all works. That's a that's a real relief. Tell you the truth, it took high team like the whole day because they don't really work on their car uh, to install their door panels. It only took Nolan like maybe 45 minutes, an hour. An hour. Yeah. We Amazing. have the interior of low car pretty much dialed in. We're gonna do some other stuff in a few episodes to make it a, a little more swaggy in here. But I mean, we're finally where it should have been last season. After Low Team finished installing their cage, we took both cars to our super secret test facility to see if we could notice any difference in rigidity in the chassis. Oh, oh. <laughs> so another thing I've been noticing, especially when the rear end comes out like that, is just how stiff the car feels now. And I think that has a lot to do with the roll cage. I mean, this cage is a bunch of really thick poles yeah. just bolting stress points of the car together. It, it's added the rigidity, I think, yeah. for sure. So not only does it add a lot more safety, it adds a lot more stiffness to the chassis. It does, because nothing else that we've done is really stiff enough the chassis, and this thing feels tight. Yeah. But okay. uh, I kind of want to pitch this thing. Later. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Oh! oh! Nolan, yeah. do, 
does more expensive mean more better? Uh, I don't think so, question mark. But kind of. But kind of. To a certain extent, more expensive does mean more better because as you saw in a previous video, we tried to cheap out on our roll cages and they didn't fit at all. So oh, I yeah. think. Okay, that kind of changes the discussion a little bit. Expensive is way better. If, we, if you're comparing universal, I don't, even, I don't even remember how much this cost, 200, 200, 200 bucks. bucks? Yeah. Yeah, if you're gonna have a roll cage in your car, spend the money to make it something that'll actually fit and save your life. There is a certain point that you don't wanna go below. You wanna get a cage that is made for your specific car. Absolutely. You might be wondering, why did we get something that bolts in and not have a totally custom cage built for a high car? And the answer is everything on these cars is available off the shelf. You can go to Studio RSR and get this very cage. So the difference between the $200 universal cage to low cars $2,000 cage, I do think that more expensive definitely means more better. But the difference between low cars $2,000 cage and high cars $4,000 cage, the difference is pretty minimal. So Nolan, which one would you buy? I would go with the low cars cage. Uh, it looks amazing, as I've said. Uh, I actually like the white. I think it pops. I agree. You know? I would go with low cars cage, and I would also go with low cars door panels. Oh yeah. The insulation was way easier. Our carbon fiber door panels fall off daily. I just want to say how excited I am to be back in high low, back in these chairs talking with you. Hey man. We were. <laughs> I don't know. This is like the best show ever. Yeah. It's and the best I want to thank you guys for watching and making it possible that we get to do it again. So thank you. Thank you. Follow Donut on Twitter and Instagram at Donut Media. Follow me on both those at James Pumphrey. Follow Nolan on both those at Nolan J Sykes. Get yourself some merch. DonutMedia.com. We got some Boost Creeps merch coming out, uh, so you can rep that you are part of the Boost Creeps. Uh, we also have uh, high low stickers in the shop now. So go get one so you can let everyone know. Are you team high or are, are you, you team, team low? low? Dude, it's so funny. Uh, it's so hilarious. It's yeah. so freaking funny, dude. Be kind. I love you. See you next time. <laughs>